Hello music lovers, welcome back to The Woodshed. This week I had a special request from my Patreon member, Dean. Dean said, Andy, would you be so kind as to teach us the delay trick that Albert Lee and John Jorgensen of the Helicasters used? All right, so this delay trick is kind of cool. Um, it's not just limited to country players. Uh, this type of idea is the same type of idea that Eddie Van Halen used in Cathedral, except he was swelling with a volume knob. You've heard Nuno Betancourt use it in his live guitar solos. Uh, my first exposure to this was the Helicasters record, their first record ironically titled The Return of the Helicasters. John Jorgensen used this trick to kick off their version of Orange Blossom Special. It's a really neat trick. You're playing essentially in between your pick hit and the delay hit that's gonna happen. What I mean is you'll essentially play half of everything that's gonna sound like it's happening. You're twice as much. There's two of you now. Let's dig in, check it out, and I'm gonna switch some camera views and show you how I like to use it. And fear not, if you don't have the exact delay pedal that I'm using, you can use it with any delay pedal on the market that will allow you to control the time to a point to where you can play in between the delays. <laughs> All right, kids, let's dive in. What I'm gonna use is the new Universal Audio Starlight Echo Station, okay? I've got a monitor here, a camera here, and a camera here. I'm trying to get everything right. I've got a little mini board set up. My Sir Woodshed Comp, my uh, brand new Gearbox, the UA Reverb, um, and if I were to just have a vanilla kind of uh, setting. <laughs> Right? So... So just normal delay. All right, to do the Helicasters Nuno uh, Cathedral uh, delay trick, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, I always like to start with the feedback knob. This will work on any delay unit. It'll work on a Fractal, it'll work on a Boss, whatever you got, Strymon, whatever. So start with the feedback control, and on the starlight, it's right here, okay? Roll that to where you only have one hit of delay. Right? Just one. I'm gonna roll the reverb down so you can really hear that. Just one hit of delay. The next move is I'm gonna set the mix to where the hit of delay is the same volume as the guitar, is the initial guitar. So that mix knob on the starlight is up here. So that's pretty close right there. Roll it up just a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Now step number three is to choose <laughs> the right note, whether it be a quarter note, eighth note, dotted eighth note, sixteenth note, whatever. And for me, on the starlight, if I go one over from the right, which is the dotted eighth note, that feels good right there. I'm gonna roll the mix up, that feels good. Just trying to get all my levels right uh, to where the trick will work, okay? So now, the last part of the trick is setting your time, okay? The time and the subdivision is uh, they, they work hand in hand. So you'll need for 16th note, you'll need a different time than you would for an eighth note, for a dotted eighth note or whatever. So what I like to do, and the reason I'm using the Starlight is it's got a tap function. Um, the Strymon does, several of the big boy units do. I know the Fractal has a tap function. Uh, the old school Boss DD2s, DD3s, DD3s, they did not have a tap function. So you kind of have to find the sweet spot with a knob. For me, let's just use the Helicasters as an example. I love that record. I love the uh, Orange Blossom special that they did. Right? So now I'm going to set my tempo to where it makes sense. Let's set it kind of fast. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, now from there, I can tell the mix needs to come up just a little bit when I start playing. If I play too slow, it's not right. If I play too fast, it's not right. You have to listen for where the mix is and the beat of the note. And I can still tell the mix is a little low. So as you can see, I'm fine tuning this as I go. That feels good. Let's move that mix up just a, a little bit more and let's go a little bit faster. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah! Now let me show you what I'm actually playing. Turn the delay off. It's so funny, right? You're playing in between the delays. So that's the thing is you got to keep in mind what your your tempo is and you've got to play in between those delays. Now let's turn it back on. make a mistake or you hit a flub string you're gonna hear it twice right uh, the fun thing is you can actually play some really cool stuff in weird sounds so let's say you're playing out of E7 Okay, thanks for hanging out this week in the woodshed. If you want to make a request, jump over to patreon.com slash andywoodmusic. Now, outside of requesting things for the channel, I've got backing tracks, uh, Axe Effects tones, tablatures, all kinds of videos, hundreds of videos, and every week we do a live weekly masterclass via Zoom. So be sure to jump in over there and get signed up at Patreon, get some of that exclusive content. We'll see you guys next week.